Yo, what is up guys? Hope you're all having a fantastic day and today we're going to be checking out the Acrophobia school for several Halo games because if you didn't know there's been a massive update for MCC and of course the highlight of that huge update was the Flood Firefight but that update did come along with several other things and we're going to be checking those out. Um, and that being, they added more skulls to all the games, basically. Most of them are from Halo 2 Anniversary, crossing over to the other games, I believe. But yeah, now we have more skulls to kind of play around with in each Halo game, which is really nice. So let's get right into it. I really love ODST and it has a huge open section which I'm sure you all know which is the boss's streets and you know that's really cool so let's go ahead and just kind of explore it's kind of crazy now because we don't have to walk around we can just like fly around as you can see we literally just zoom on by um, you do got to be careful with the skull though because um, you can just uh, die if you like slam into a wall or go too fast I feel like I should have mentioned this a little sooner, but if you don't know what the Acrophobia Skull is, it basically just allows you to fly around as I'm showcasing here. That's really all there is to it, you just fly around. You can never really reach these snipers because they're usually high up in like a area that you can't go to. And so now we can just fly over to our little friend here. He's probably like, how the hell did you get up here? <laughs> and we just bailey him to death. So now we can get revenge on the Jackal Snipers. Because as you can see, you cannot get up here uh, naturally by playing the game. You would have to use the uh, skull. <laughs> so now we got our sweet revenge. Just had to wait like several years for that. And now we finally got that sweet taste of revenge. There's a freaking invisible wall preventing us from uh, going up high. So that really does suck. Because that's mostly the reason why I wanted to uh, do this one because it's like a little more open and I wanted to see if we could kind of like fly up high it'd be freaking sweet man man I love this game I really do like the atmosphere is just freaking amazing in this game oh whoops I didn't mean to do that <laughs> but like the music man like everything about this game just like you know connects and it's just amazing I do wish it was like a lot more stealthy because it this game does kind of hint it being like towards more stealthy like but, you know, it's far from it, which is unfortunate, but, you know, I still really do enjoy this game. It's it's just impressive. Hey, we got our friendly hunter here. Oh, never mind. He's not so friendly. Um, let's see if I could kind of just, like, juke him. Let's see if I could just uh, <laughs> do this real quick. There we go. There we go. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Yep, that's right. You can't kill me. I'm surprised this is actually working. I, I didn't really expect this to work. What the heck? Alright, so now for the ultimate test on this map. So I really wanted to see if you can somehow fly over to where that side is on the other side of the broken bridge. Let's be honest. I feel like a lot of us wanted to kind of try to get over there. So we're going to find out. I, I have a feeling there's going to be an invisible wall. But we're about to find out. So let's see. Here we go. Let's fly up high as, as high as we can. Wow, we can barely hide. We can barely, not high, what am I saying? We can barely fly up high, what the heck? So, I think my hope just kind of went down. <laughs> Alright, let's try it, let's try it. <gasps> oh my, oh no, no. No, it's pushing me down, <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Alright, so I managed to actually get onto one of these pillars, and it's actually, you're actually able to stand on it. Like, look at this. So, maybe somehow people did manage to like try to get over here and i guess that's why they like have it pulling you down but yeah that would have been cool i feel like that would have been a sweet little easter egg maybe you make it to the other side you see like a, a bunch of snipers or something that you could use or like you know something cool i don't know that would that would have been a sweet easter egg in my opinion okay so here we are on halo 2 anniversary or rather just halo 2 and yeah we're trying out the skull on this uh game now and if you look here, I went onto the Arbiter mission, and I was just kind of messing around. And so I kind of went, you know, out of bounds or whatever. And it's actually really cool, because look, you can see the whole facility. I kind of just flew down, hoping I could, like, go into that hole. But, uh, you know, I looked back, and I was like, whoa, this is kind of cool. You could see, like, the whole structure. And not only that, but you could kind of see, like, how it functions down below. It's kind of like pulling in the energy from this storm or something. It's actually kind of cool. Um, let's see how it looks like in uh, Anniversary mode real quick. Oh, that's too bad. See, that's why I don't like these remakes, because they, I feel like they leave out nice little details like that. And 
I think that's unfortunate. Oh my goodness, you guys. So I finally made it to the freaking hole. And look at this. There's actually like an invisible platform down here that you can just walk on. So I went as far as I can. And look at that. Look, I'm literally walking. I'm not even flying. I can even crouch. And so there's an actual platform here. I'm actually quite impressed. All right, so here we are in Great Journey. And as you can see, I kind of just skipped everything. We made it to the Phantom. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let's try to get inside the Phantom or something. I don't know. Screw it. Why not? I think you're supposed to destroy this Phantom, but uh, I don't know, man. I kind of want to go inside. If he could just like stay still for a second. Let me just... Uh, we can figure something out here. Okay, I went camouflage, but that's still not working. Ah, oh, no, you can't go in. It just pushes you out. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, here we are on the Banshee portion. I really wanted to check this part out. Because I don't need a Banshee anymore, man. You know, I don't need one. Alright, so we got the Banshee, you know. We got it here. They deliver it. But like I said, man. I am the Banshee. I have become a Banshee. <laughs> I am a Banshee. I do not need the freaking vehicle. I am one. As you can see, I'm an upgraded version. I can... <laughs> I can move faster, dodge more shots because of it. So, um, so I still gotta wait for him though, so that really does suck. But it's actually quite funny, cause look, you can actually fly over here, and you can see like that little bridge section that you actually go through in this mission, and the Phantom is still there, which is freaking hilarious. I'm gonna go over here. Does everything load up still? Oh my goodness, what the heck? Yo, what? The ban- the freaking- not the Banshee, the freaking Phantom. <laughs> It's still here. I can still get the weapons, too. That is hilarious. Hold up. Do these doors open? Do these doors open at all? I feel like they don't, but uh, I, I just want to make sure. Oh my, what? What in the world? Wait a second. You're telling me I could just travel all the way back? Look at this, man. <laughs> like, the whole level's still set up. As if you were, like, still playing through the whole thing. It's freaking hilarious, man. There's a freaking brute here. He's by himself though, that's so weird. Just let me in the Phantom, please! <laughs> let me in! I just wanna go in! <laughs> can I just smack the turrets? Let me see if I can just smack them. Can I smack these things? Yeah, I can. Okay, I think, I don't know if I'm getting closer, it's hard to tell, but I am actually able to go here, I think. Oh no, it stopped. No! Wait. Yeah, it stopped. I'm not moving anymore. Let's see if I can go underwater, because I know you die underwater, don't you? What happens if I go under here? Oh my god! What the hell, dude? This is like freaking silent cartographer. Literally. Literally silent, tar car silent cartographer. Literally. The ocean, like where you could walk in um, and, you know, go as far as you want or whatever. <laughs> this is literally it. Let me know what you guys think about these schools. Um, have you tried it yourself? Have you tried the acrophobia stuff? Or really any other school, you know? Let me know what you guys think about it. Um, you know, maybe you have a good idea for, like, a new school they could add. You know, let me know about that. But uh, with that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Consider subscribing, liking the video, as it shows your support. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.